Good evening. Thank you for joining me for the 24th annual SOAR Award Ceremony. My name is Sherry Hoagland, and I am a fifth grade teacher at Gotch Intermediate School. I am so happy that you're able to join us tonight to recognize and celebrate some of our district's truly outstanding people. Tonight, we have nominees from every building in the district. Nominees include teachers, assistants, secretaries, administrators, bus drivers, mechanics, and community volunteers. We'll begin our evening with a few words from our superintendent, Dr. Travis Brock. Hello, everyone, and I'd like to welcome you to the 24th Annual SOAR Awards. My name is Travis Brock, and I'm the superintendent of the Afton School District. We have a great program for you tonight. In fact, we have a record-setting program for you. This year, there were 35 nominees for SOAR Awards. This is the most nominees we've ever had, and I can't wait for you to hear about each and every one of them. Thank you not only to those nominees, but thank you to those individuals who took the time to fill out those nominations. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to bring you this program tonight, and certainly it's always nice to have your efforts recognized. I also want to give a quick shout out and pause to acknowledge that this time of school closures and COVID-19 has certainly brought a number of challenges. I'm very proud of the way our Afton community, our staff, our students, and our parents have responded to those challenges, and I look forward to partnering with you until we're back together in person once again. Thank you, Dr. Brock. Next, I would like to thank our school board members. Our school board members are Patricia Zahn, Tom Bellavia, Michelle Burford, Sue Casaleggi, Kenny Edgar, Jordan Levinson, and Michael McNeil. We have a few words from our school board president, Patricia Zahn. Hello. I'm so glad to be able to take part in this special event again this year. On behalf of the Afton School Board, I'd like to say thank you to those who rise above, to those who are being recognized today, and to everyone who continues to meet the needs of our students and our community. I am so proud to be president of the board of this amazing district, especially during this time. The SOAR Awards recognize people who show excellence in character, performance, leadership, and service. There are many people in our district who meet these criteria. Thank you to everyone who submitted a nomination. Congratulations to those who are nominated, as well as and especially those who are getting an award. I hope that you all know how very much you are appreciated and that you are making a real difference. Congratulations again and thank you. Be well and be safe. Thank you, Mrs. Zahn. Let's begin our program. SOAR is an acronym for Service and Outstanding Achievement Recognition. In order for someone to be eligible for a SOAR nomination, they must be employed, contracted, or volunteer on a regular basis in the Afton School District. Nominees must have an exemplary record or performance experience and demonstrate outstanding service and support to our district. The people I will tell you about tonight are being recognized for going above and beyond in their contributions to make a difference in the Afton School District and community. I'm looking forward to introducing you to 35 nominees this evening. I will read a brief description from the person who nominated each of the nominees, and Dr. Brock will announce the eight recipients of the SOAR Award. Our first nominee is Amra Alabasic, Secretary at Manier Primary School. Amra is a very special person. She has a positive attitude, a great worth ethic, and is kind-hearted, and it makes her the perfect position for the secretary to the principal. Amra is efficient and a wonderful resource for teachers. Although she's busy and has a million things to do every day, Amra takes the time to answer questions from teachers and parents and always makes you feel like you're the most important person to her at that time. 
Amra is bilingual and provides support to com and comfort to many of our Bosnian parents and students. She understands and has empathy for families assimilating to a new culture and helps provide resources when available. Amra, you're a genuine asset to Manier. Next, Nicole Arnoff. She's a special educator at Gotch Intermediate School. Nicole was nominated by a parent. The parent says that Nicole has gone above and beyond to ensure that her son's transition was smooth this year. Her compassion for her students is undeniable. This year for Christmas, Nicole made sure that each of her students received a pair of pajamas and a book as a gift. She reached out to family, friends, and community members to make sure each child had a sponsor. Children were elated to receive their gifts. Nicole also does an amazing job teaching children to advocate for themselves. She has a perfect balance of compassion and respect for her students. Nicole, this parent is very grateful to have you as part of the team educating her son, and we are very happy to have you on our team as well. Our next nominee, Sanaya Arslanovic. She's a custodian at Afton High School. Sanaya is an outstanding, to the high, outstanding asset to the high school and district. She is a conscientious employee who does outstanding work and is always ready to go out of her way to assist the rest of the staff. Sanaya is friendly and pleasant to be around. If a teacher has a special need in their classroom, Sanaya makes sure that that need is fulfilled. Sanaya maintains a positive attitude, which is infectious. Sanaya makes, takes a personal interest in her fellow employees, taking time to ask how their family members are. Sanaya, thank you for being a ray of sunshine at our high school. Our next nominee is Jacqueline Beyer, fifth grade teacher at Gotch Intermediate School. Jacqueline consistently goes above and beyond in her care and teaching of her students. The parent who nominated Jacqueline feels fortunate that both of her daughters had Jacqueline and she made a lasting impact on them. Four years ago, Jacqueline and her former teaching partner formed a drama club at the request of some of their students. Jacqueline and the members of the fifth grade team generously volunteered their after school time to supervise the club and assist with costumes, props, and scenery. With Jacqueline's support, the children have had an opportunity to develop leadership skills, organizational and problem solving skills. Those are skills that they will carry with them into high school and beyond. In the classroom, Jacqueline developed develops wonderful ways for the students to demonstrate their learning. Students work collaboratively and present their knowledge and skills to adults and other students. And it's obviously that the kids enjoy what they do. Jacqueline Afton is lucky to have an amazing educator like you as a role model for our students. Jane Bone is a counselor at the high school. Jane is a pleasure to work with and she's a great leader in the counseling department. She takes on tasks with ease, and she helps to build the master schedule, organizes and administrate, administers AP exams, she applies for Apton Education Foundation grants, and organizes department leader meetings. Jane is an excellent resource in her for her colleagues, families, and students. She's able to build strong, healthy relationships and is able to help families with ongoing support of the things that they need. This year, Jane and a colleague led Afton High School through a string of traumatic events. Two parents and spouses of staff, staff members passed away and two students passed away. She worked closely with outside agencies to find ways to best support the school community. All the while, Jane was hurting too, but she may maintained her professional demeanor. Jane, thank you for being a wonderful, caring asset to our high school and to our community. Our next nominee is Colette Book. She's a communication arts teacher at Rogers Middle School. The person who nominated Colette said that both of her children have had special health concerns and Colette was instrumental in getting a 504 plan written and in place for her children. Sometimes it can be overwhelming 
in a large class to make sure that every student is taken care of physically, socially, and academically. But Colette handles this like a true professional. She cares very much about each student and has an amazing ability to meet students at their level and help them grow academically. Colette is in charge of the book club at Rogers. She guides students in finding books that interest them, thereby fostering a love of reading. Colette, we're thankful for teachers like you. Next, Patricia Breed. She's a special school district assistant at Manor Primary School. This year, Patricia has the task of orienting the substitutes reporting for duty at Manor Primary School. The very important task involves everything from explaining the substitutes duties given to them and giving them a background on the students that they will be working with. Patricia took the lead in helping the newly hired paraprofessionals learn classroom procedures and developed a universal language that would be used among grade levels and classroom teachers. Patricia relays effective communication between grade levels and helps the students with their special education providers. When students are in crisis, Patricia does not hesitate to spring into action to provide support that addresses that student's plan. She's flexible in her schedule and covers for teachers when needed. Patricia, thank you for being a true leader. You are an important asset to special education and to Manor Primary School. Julie Cervenka is a school counselor at Afton High School. Julie is kind and helpful. The person who nominated Julie is very appreciative of her expertise in dealing with matters that she and her children attend to. She makes people feel at ease. Julie treats all of her students and parents fairly and with care. She wants all of her students to succeed. Julie helps her students thrive and reach for excellence in all of their endeavors. Julie strives to have great relationships with everyone she comes in contact with. Julie, thank you for helping children foster innovative ideas and reach their potential as they walk through the halls of Afton High School. Jennifer Conway is an English language arts teacher at Afton High School. Jennifer establishes solid routines and employs consistent and fair practices in her classroom. She takes an active interest in the well-being of each of her students. She has an engaging approach to education and children take a genuine interest in their class with her. Under Jennifer's guidance and encouragement, students consistently reach measurable gains. Jennifer is a great asset, not only in the classroom, but to the entire Afton community as a whole. Jennifer sponsored a trip last summer to Peru and is currently sponsoring a trip to Europe with some students. She's a true believer that learning include learning occurs inside and outside of the classroom. She coaches girls basketball and is a sponsor for the class of 2022. Jennifer, thank you for enriching the educational experience for our students. Elizabeth Cotton is a fourth grade teacher at Gotch Intermediate School. Elizabeth is patient and caring. The person who nominated Elizabeth said that she is a teacher that her son completely trusts. He knows he can reach out to her not only to help with schoolwork, but to quest for questions about life. Elizabeth has been there to listen and provide reassurance with some tough situations that he struggled with outside of school. Students enjoy Elizabeth's class because she makes learning fun and provides incentives. She's kind and understanding and encourages each student to do their best. She teaches children to be responsible students. Elizabeth is also responsive to questions and concerns that parents have. She keeps the lines of communication open. Elizabeth, thank you for having such a positive influence on everyone that you teach. Our next nominee is Stacy Ederer. She is a community volunteer. Stacy is described as a dynamo who has made an outstanding contribution to the Afton community. She has helped with the Gotch third grade Olympics, the fifth grade party, and the senior lock-in. She's a Girl Scout leader, works concession stands, and helps with other fundraisers. Her efforts in fundraising have helped to improve the student experience. At Rogers, 
Stacy and some other parents established the middle school mixer tradition and helped organize the first middle school trivia night for the students. Stacy is a booster parent for the class of 2020. Stacy, we thank you for diving feet first into every endeavor and, the, and for the countless hours and hard work that you have given to our district. Scott Ellis is an eighth grade teacher at Rogers Middle School. Scott is a refreshing new addition to the Apton School District. He's already making an impression on our youth. Since arriving, he has established the Young Gentlemen Club at RMS. In his club, he works on problem solving with his most at-risk students, teaching them character, improving their behavior, and helping them academically. He makes these students feel valued and cared for. Scott supplies weekly meals and clothing for these boys with, with grant money and money from his own pocket. Scott's effort has gone, has gone a long way in improving the environment in his class, with his team, and at Rogers Middle School. Scott has brought many tools with him to the eighth grade team to use to develop relationships and with the students and to help identify those who might be otherwise overlooked. His encouragement and guidance has helped him and the middle school team be more data driven on, and focused on students' social emotional needs. Scott serves as a sponsor for the After School Intramurals Club and is a volleyball referee. Scott's an Afton alumni and he clearly understands what it takes to make Afton strong. Scott, you will definitely be the favorite teacher of students for years to come. Jason Ferguson is in the maintenance department. Jason works in the maintenance department and does everything from electrical work to painting, heavy lifting, plumbing, and fixing just about everything that needs fixing. He is very knowledgeable on any construction job and uses his talents to help others as well. Jason goes unnoticed by most, but he makes the school buildings safe for all of us. When it snows, Jason comes to school early in the morning before any of us have woken, and he shovels the lots and the parking lots and the sidewalks. Jason has been an exceptional mentor to the summer workers because he is someone that pays attention to detail and he does the job correctly. Jason has helped establish the Gotch Butterfly Garden and he helps keep it going. Jason's caring nature and demeanor is displayed every day when he comes to work. Jason, you are truly an asset to the Afton School District. Debbie Floyd is a custodian at the Afton Early Childhood Center. She's been there since they opened. She keeps up with all of the preschool messes throughout the day without complaining. Because of her hard work, the building is clean and safe. Whenever something is needed in a classroom, teachers can always count on Debbie to take care of what is needed. She takes pride in her work and thinks ahead for what might be needed. Debbie sets up for lunchtime for the children and gets the cots ready for nap time. She coordinates snack time for the tots and even instituted popcorn Fridays. On these days, Debbie and makes popcorn for the students to enjoy. Debbie, thank you for your dedication to our youngest learners. You are helping their school experience get off on the right foot. Lynn Hennessy is a first grade teacher at Manier Primary School. Lynn is empathetic and cares about her students. She's a great communicator and takes the time to connect with students and parents. She's unique. Lynn, your students and parents are fortunate to have such a caring person in their lives. Kathleen Hollenberg is a special school district educator at Rogers Middle School. For the parents who nominated Kathleen, the 2019-2020 school year did not start off on the right foot. Her students simply refused to go to school. After beginning to receive special education services, the child began attending school for one to two hours a day and working with Kathleen during that time. Kathleen worked to set expectations for this child and increase the length of his school day. She provided incentives for milestones reached and in January, he was attending school full time. The icing on the cake is when this student got home and is asked how his day was more often than not, he says it was okay, which is much better than how he felt about school in the fall. All students know that they can count on Ka Kathleen and that her room is a safe place to go. Kathleen, we're very thankful for the work that you have done and you continue to do for all of your students. 
Our next nominee is Rudy Yeager. He's a community volunteer with the Afton High School Athletic Department. Rudy has been volunteering with the High School Athletic Department for more than 15 years. He has worked with both the boys and girls soccer teams and invested a lot of his time during the off season as well. Rudy has helped with summer camps and attends other school events in an effort to support our student athletes. The students enjoy his positive nature and motivating spirit. He creates bonds with them that will last for years to come. Rudy, we thank you for giving your gift of time to our student athletes. Natalia Jurassic is a custodian at Manier Primary School. Natalia just joined Manier's staff this year. She is a highly valued and respected person. She is so pleasant with the students. She happily greets them in the morning as they come in for breakfast, and she is equally kind and patient with all of the students through the craziness of lunch. She does what's expected of a daytime custodian and goes above and beyond whenever messy issues arise throughout the day. She has never raised her voice or gotten upset over the endless interruptions during the school day. She just keeps on going. Natalia, you are a wonderful addition to the Manier staff, and they're very fortunate to have you. Dr. John Langhans is the assistant principal at Afton High School. John has a way with our older students. He is able to bring the most explosive students back to a calm disposition. He follows up with students to really get to understand and know their story. John passes by the lunchroom to ask how the cafeteria staff is doing, and he lets them know that they're doing a great job. John is quick to take action when needed. He's a great leader and a role model to whom students and staff are drawn to. John, thank you for all you're doing to help our high schoolers and your staff do valued and meet with success. Carl Martin is a mechanic at the administration building. Carl has worked with the Afton School District for more than 20 years as a school bus mechanic. Carl has an excellent attendance record and is extremely reliable. His supervisor can depend on him for helping driving on field trips or extra routes in addition to his normal duties as a mechanic. Carl maintains our fleet of 17 buses. He does an excellent job in maintaining all of the buses year round, including during harsh weather. Our fleet of buses recently received their annual inspection from the Missouri State Highway Patrol and 100% of our buses passed inspection. Carl has a good attitude and helps anyone that asks. Carl, we thank you for helping to keep things rolling in the Afton School District. Maria McDermott is an Afton High School secretary. Maria moved into this position this year and she's doing an amazing job. She not only has the new position, but she also is working with the responsibilities from her former position, including working on every detail of the high school's biggest yearly event, and that is graduation. While she is always hard at work, she still does all of the endeavors with a smile on her face and has no complaints. She has made this transition smooth. The Afton School District is very fortunate to have such a smart, friendly, versatile employee greeting our teachers, parents, and students at the front door and answering our phones. Maria makes everyone feel welcome. If she does not have the answer to a question, she will find it for you. Maria's 17 years of knowledge and experience make her a valuable go-to person. Maria, thank you for jumping in and proudly serving our students and faculty. Sean McDermott is in the maintenance department. Sean has worked with the school district for over 20 years. He's a good friend and a hard worker. He's a person you can rely on and cares about the work that he does for each person and every person he interacts with. Sean, thank you for helping things run smoothly in our district. Carol Ann McDonald is a bus driver. Carol Ann has been driving with the district for many years. She's an amazing asset to our district. The parent who nominated Carol Ann has had some wonderful bus drivers in her time, but she says Carol Ann goes above and beyond. Her patience and kindness seem to know no limit. All of the children enjoy and respect Carol Ann. Carol Ann takes time to know the kids. She's patient even when this parent's kindergartner wants to tell Carol Ann all about her weekend or about her day at school. Carol Ann is punctual and extremely considerate 
always being sure to park far from the large puddles and waiting for parents to cross the street in front of the school bus. Carolyn, thank you for putting a smile on everyone's face and putting safety first. Matt McLaughlin is with the cafeteria staff at Afton High School. Every morning, Matt welcomes students at the entrance to the high school. He knows them by name and asks them how they're doing. He's a smiling, welcoming face when students first enter the building in the morning. He goes out of his way to make sure that the students' days are started off on the right foot. Matt, thank you for feeding the hearts and minds of our students. Our next nominee is Ron Medley. Ron is the before and after care coordinator at Gotch Intermediate School. Ron has been with the Cougar Care Program for many years. He's a great leader. He works well with all of the kids and is extremely patient. Ron is always calm and handles each situation in the best way possible. He's flexible and thinks fast when stressful situations arrive. He makes every child feel important. Ron builds relationships with children by playing games with them. The kids trust him and see him as a positive role model. He is also funny and smart, and he helps children with homework when they have questions. Ron, you are loved by the children with whom you interact. Thank you for your service to our students. Christine Mosley is a community volunteer. Girls on the Run is an after-school opportunity that has been at Gotch for the last few years. This year, the two staff members who normally are the coaches were off on maternity leave, and so the program almost didn't exist. When Christine learned that Gotch might not have the program, she volunteered to be the head coach and recruited a team of parents to assist. This year, 22 students enrolled in the Girls on the Run program, and four parent coaches volunteered their time. The girls and parent coaches met twice a week, and they were training for a 5K that was to be held in May. Christine, we thank you for seeing the value in our Girls on the Run program and the value in our students. Elena Parker is a secretary at Afton High School. She has been a valuable asset this year. She's been especially helpful with our Spanish-speaking families. This year, Elena assisted a family who was displaced by an earthquake in Puerto Rico. The family moved to Afton to live with their family and their understanding of English was minimal. Elena was able to interpret for the family and gain information necessary to help build the child's schedule, get him out on the right foot and start his year successfully. Elena's kind patient demeanor put the family and student at ease because they knew that there was somebody who they could communicate with. On another occasion, Elena provided assistance by reaching out to a family that spoke little English and setting up a meeting so that educators and administrators could address academic options for their child. Elena made all of the arrangements and interpreted for the meeting so everyone could communicate and have a productive meeting. Elena, I would like to say muchas gracias to you for all that you do to make our family and all of our families feel important in the Afton School District. Taylor Roberts is a before and after school care facilitator at the Afton Early Childhood Center. When students are dropped off at 6.30 in the morning, Taylor is there to welcome them and make our youngest students feel safe and loved. Her positive attitude and love for the students helps get their days started off on the right foot. At the end of the day, she's there to keep them entertained until it's time to go home. Taylor understands the needs of preschoolers. She knows how to get the, help them get along, and she's able to calm them when they are upset. Taylor goes above and beyond by volunteering her time to help prepare activities after school and helping teachers prepare their rooms for the next day. She's apt and strong. Taylor is a former graduate who takes pride in her work. Taylor, thank you for always having a smile on your face and bringing joy to those around you. Emily Roman is a counselor at Gotch Intermediate School. Emily has a, a big heart and every student has a place in that big heart. She does everything in her power to be there for those students. From listening to girl drama between best friends or most personal struggles that a child has at home, Emily is there for the students at Gotch. She goes above and beyond to take time to check on students and check on staff. She listens to them and lets them vent about their day and offers 
sound advice from a place of genuine love. Gotch is lucky to have someone like Emily roaming their halls. Tiffany Shelton is an administrative assistant at Rogers Middle School. This year is Tiffany's first year at Rogers, and she has already built strong relationships with everyone she has encountered. She makes everyone feel welcome and important and fills the air with positivity. Tiffany reflects a positive attitude to staff, parents, and most importantly, to students. She creates a loving environment from the middle school for everyone. Tiffany goes out of her way to make sure students feel warm and welcome and important. Teachers can count on her for anything they need. She writes them notes to spread joy and kindness. Tiffany often reminds staff that they can count on her for anything when they are down. Tiffany, we thank you for your service to our school district. Amber Cinnamon is a special educator at Rogers Middle School. She's a great teacher who always listens to her students. She is there for her students in every way. She answers questions about her career and about their academic issues. She works hard to help every child meet success. Amber, thank you for serving our students with your whole heart. Amy Tote is an ELL educator at Gotch Intermediate School who has been in the district for more than 25 years. Amy has worked at a, as a reading recovery teacher, literacy coach, remedial reading teacher, and is currently our ELL teacher. Amy has tutored ELL students in several, for several years at our after-school tutoring program. She's a leader. She is apt and strong. Amy sends the Gotch staff a daily thought for the day. These pick-me-ups are appreciated by all staff and keep the climate positive and healthy. She has even continued this during our extended time at home by sending out tote talks every day. Amy has helped students meet with success and they also celebrate and recognize their own heritage. She makes sure that her students are fairly represented by securing interpreters for meetings and translating documents. Amy, thank you for being such a wonderful leader and for bringing so much joy to our staff and students every day. Tony Towers is a special school district teacher assistant at the Afton Early Childhood Center. Tony has worked at Afton Early Childhood Center for many years. She's a friend to everyone and goes out of her way to help others. She's always thinking about ways to improve the lives of students. Tony works well with others and helps the students in her room achieve their best. Tony regularly bakes treats for staff for no other reason other than to make them happy. She's a wonderful person. Tony is retiring at the end of this year and she will be greatly missed by those who work with her. Tony, the people who work with you want you to know that your efforts are appreciated, you've been seen, and you are greatly going to be missed. Sarah Unger is a second grade teacher at Manier Primary School. She has been an ally for the parents who nominated her. Sarah has been an advocate for the family's special needs child. Sarah gained the trust of this child because her concern for him is genuine and she approached him with kindness and respect. Sarah makes her classroom a safe and inclusive, exciting place where learning and experimenting were encouraged and everyone's interests were explored and linked to the curriculum. She prioritizes students' overall development from the academic to the emotional. Sarah, thank you for working so hard to make your students feel at home and able to take risks in your classroom. Finally, Emily Weibel is a third grade teacher at Gotch Intermediate School. Emily was also nominated by several grateful parents. According to one of the parents, Emily has been the most influential teacher her child has had thus far in his educational career. The parent's son struggles with academics and Emily has gone above and beyond to invest in him. She has come to watch his soccer games on the weekends. Emily has a genuine interest in students' needs. She is able to break down walls and build relationships. She is a very dedicated teacher who cares about her children and cares about them doing the best job at making learning fun. Emily, thanks to you, there's a little boy who hates missing school and cannot wait for each day to come so he can spend time with you. The nominations of tonight's 35 nominees were read and scored by a representative group of district personnel and community members. 
a lot of thought and consideration is given to scoring each nomination. Tonight, we will present eight of the nominees the esteemed SOAR Award. Before we have Dr. Brock announce the SOAR Award recipients, I would like to take a moment to recognize those who served on the SOAR Award Selection Committee. Those people are Lenny Clubs, Jill Cotton, Kelly Hornberger, Russ Jacobsmeyer, Jen MacArthur, and Anna Steffen. Thank you for taking the time to carefully consider each nomination. And now, Dr. Brock will announce this year's recipients. Now that you've had a chance to hear about all of our 35 wonderful SOAR Award nominees, I have the distinct pleasure of reading to you the eight individuals who will receive the SOAR Award for this year. First one is Amra Alabasic, Secretary at Manier Primary School, Colette Book, Teacher at Rogers Middle School, Jennifer Conway, Teacher at Afton High School, Stacy Ederer, Parent, Afton School District, Scott Ellis, Teacher at Rogers Middle School, Jason Ferguson, Maintenance Department, Afton School District, Tiffany Shelton, Secretary, Rogers Middle School, and Amy Tote, Teacher at Gotch Intermediate School. Congratulations to those eight SOAR Award winners, and once again, congratulations to all of our 35 record-setting nominees. Thank you. Hello, I am Allison Nixon, seventh grade social studies teacher from Rogers Middle School. It is my pleasure to introduce Afton's Building Level Teachers of the Year. The Building Level Teachers of the Year were nominated by their colleagues and represent their buildings in the district level Teacher of the Year process. The Teacher of the Year from Afton Early Childhood Center is Erica Grissom. She has been a pre-kindergarten teacher for eight years. From her nomination form, Erica is creative in finding ways to help her students learn. She is respected by colleagues and the families of the students she teaches. The Teacher of the Year from Manier Primary School is Kathleen Pence. She has been a second grade teacher for five years. From her nomination form, Kathleen takes the initiative to get to know all the teachers in the building and helps extend Manier's welcoming community to everyone she meets. The Teacher of the Year from Gotch Intermediate School is Gail Peach. She has been a third grade special education resource teacher for seven years. From her nomination form, Gail has a positive attitude, works hard, and is kind to other adults and children in the building. She supports her coworkers. The Teacher of the Year for Rogers Middle School is Ray Kreitz. He has been a seventh grade math and pre-algebra teacher for 21 years. From his nomination form, Ray embodies the knowledge and enthusiasm all teachers strive to achieve throughout their career. The passion he has for helping others is inspiring. The Teacher of the Year from Afton High School is Mary Beth Merlo. She has worked as a special education teacher for 13 years. From her nomination form, Mary Beth demonstrates a positive attitude and dedication to her students. She is accepting to all and is able to individualize instruction to emphasize her students' strengths. On behalf of the Afton School District, we congratulate the Building Level Teachers of the Year. Thank you. At this time, we also pause to recognize our District Teacher of the Year. Obviously, on an annual basis, we have a great number of staff members to choose from. Fortunately, only one person can be District Teacher of the Year. At this time, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to announce that this year's District Teacher of the Year is Ray Kreitz, math teacher at Rogers Middle School. Congratulations to Ray on being named District Teacher of the Year, and once again, congratulations to all of our Teacher of the Year award winners. Thank you. One of the last things I'd like to leave you with tonight is the Superintendent Award. This is my second year in the district, and if you were with us last year, you know I have a hard time giving awards to just one person. Last year I gave the award to an entire building. I did a little bit better this year. Uh, this year we have eight Superintendent Award recipients. Those individuals are part of my cabinet that has been very integral during this time of school closures and COVID-19, and tonight I wanted to recognize them. So without further ado, those eight individuals are 
Marie Burke, Director of Special Education, Erica Chandler, Director of Communication, Krista Diekman, Director of Accounting, Dr. Chris Daughtry, Assistant Superintendent, Steve Fedchek, Chief Financial Officer, Adam Jasinski, Director of Technology, Dr. Chris McGee, Executive Director, and Jeff Rooks, Director of Building and Grounds. For me personally, school closures and COVID-19 really hit home uh, the weekend right before spring break. So I vividly remember March 15th at about one o'clock on a Sunday, sitting in a room with several superintendents and county officials, and it became very clear that school closures were going to be a reality. Um, it also was a reality that we were going to need to do something to continue learning and continue food service. So while a lot of people were thinking about heading into spring break the weekend before and, and then enjoying the last couple days of spring break, I know that all of these individuals had different things planned and they all simply put those things aside and did what was necessary. Um, we knew at that time school closures would be for two weeks but we also had probably a good assumption that it was going to be extending well beyond that. Like I said, these individuals um, came in uh, the weekend before, the weekend after, all during spring break, and did what needed to be done. Um, they continue to anything that, that I need them to do, anything that they need to be involved with, whether it aligns with their current duties or whether it's just something that I need someone to take the lead on. Um, they have been resilient and they have just simply come together uh, to support me in hopes that all of you, parents, students, staff, community, also feel supported. So, um, especially those first couple weeks, uh, not only were they trying to put together organization and coordination in the background, I can honestly attest to you they were also right on the front lines. So uh, in addition to organizing things like food service, they were right there handing meals out to parents. They were deploying devices directly to parents and kids as they drove up to our buildings. And I can't thank them enough. It truly has been a team effort and the rest of our staff Students and parents deserve a lot of credit, but for me personally, when I think about when I needed the most help, um, it was when we had the least people that were supposed to be at work, and these individuals stepped up and continue to step up, and I really appreciate that. So congratulations to those eight individuals, and I really enjoyed bringing you um, some of these awards tonight. I think uh, now more than ever, we all could use some, some bright spots in our day, and I hope that we were able to bring that to you tonight. Thank you. Before we conclude tonight's ceremony, I would like to thank the dynamic duo of Erica Chandler and Claire Persgoda for helping me with tonight's presentation. I would also like to thank Michael Brand for helping me set up my in-home studio. Without all of you, this would not have been possible, and I thank you very much. Thanks also to those of you who took the time to nominate friends and colleagues. Thank you, our viewers, for helping us celebrate this special evening. Even if we can't be together, we can still take the time to recognize the fabulous things that go on in our buildings and in our community. Congratulations to all of the nominees and to our recipients. This concludes tonight's ceremony and we hope to see you in person next year.